Thanks for watching our podcast again this week. Uh, I wanted to sum up uh, what we've been trying to do on the Senate floor. Uh, unfortunately, without great success, but at least we're focused on some important issues for the country and uh, for the Congress. Uh, the first issue I wanted to mention, which we spent a couple of three days on early in the week, uh, was the Disclose Act. Now, this is legislation that's been put forward. Uh, I've co-sponsored it. A lot of other senators have as well uh, to try to ensure that there is an ability by voters to know where contributions are coming from in this election cycle, not just this election cycle, but really future ele election cycles. What it says, the, the, what the legislation says is that anyone who contributes over $10,000 to a campaign or to a campaign organization uh, has to have their name disclosed so that someone can determine who that person is and can, uh, can make a judgment as to uh, the appropriateness of the campaign ad base, somewhat at least, on, on the source of the information. Uh, this to me is an essential piece of legislation, particularly in light of the United, Citizens United case that the Supreme Court decided this last year where they basically said that it's unconstitutional for Congress to limit the amount of contributions that corporations and individuals make uh, to campaigns and uh, uh, that the only thing Congress could do constitutionally, according to the Supreme Court in that decision, is to require disclosure so that the public knows. Uh, this proposed legislation is an effort to follow the advice of the Supreme Court and in fact require that disclosure. Uh, unfortunately, it uh, was defeated. Our effort to proceed to the bill was defeated. It was filibustered and defeated on a party line vote, essentially with all Democrats favoring going ahead and, and uh, all Republicans opposed. This is unfortunate in my view. It's the kind of legislation that ought to have good bipartisan support. I think the entire system of government we have only functions appropriately and properly uh, when you have uh, uh, full disclosure of what's going on so that the American people can make informed judgments. The other legislation we've tried to move ahead on this week uh, relates to uh, offshoring or outsourcing of jobs outside the country. And this was a simple proposal to, to change the tax code so that the cost of actually shutting down uh, employment here in this country, uh, shutting down manufacturing here in this country and moving those jobs overseas, the cost of that would not be uh, something that the company could claim as a legitimate and necessary business expense so that it would have to, obviously they could make, still go ahead with the offshoring if they chose to do so, but uh, we would not be providing tax support for that action. And of course, uh, uh, the reverse of that, if they're bringing jobs back to the U.S., uh, the costs involved in that would be uh, uh, subject to being credited against their taxes and, and we would be providing tax support for that. Uh, to me this is a fairly common sense change in the tax law that uh, we ought to be able to get support on. Again, we, we have not been able to move ahead with it, uh, but uh, uh, we are unfortunately approaching the election this fall and it's more and more difficult to get anything done here in the Congress. Most everything is is dealt with on a pretty partisan basis and uh, that's that's not good for the country it's not good for policy making and legislating here in the congress but uh, that is a summary of what we've been trying to do at least on the senate floor this week and uh, i hope we have more success with, with uh, efforts we make this next week and we'll uh, try to do another uh, podcast uh, to report on that at the end of this next week again thanks for watching